Hey, and welcome to the MAT 211 review on matrix multiplication. My name is Julia, and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So today, we want to compute the product of the first matrix, 1, 2, and 3, by the second matrix, x, y, and c. Now, since this is a matrix matrix multiplication, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we can even do this. So let's write it down here just so we have a place where we can scribble. So we have 1, 2, 3 times x, y, and c. Now, remember that when we are multiplying two matrices together, we have to make sure that the number of columns in the first matrix match the number of rows in the second matrix. So let's, let's look at our dimensions here. In our, our first matrix here, we have one row and three columns, so it's a one by three matrix. And our, in our second matrix, we have three rows and one column. So note that the columns of the first matrix match the rows of the second matrix or the inner dimensions match. So we can definitely do this multiplication. What this also means is that our outer dimensions here, our rows of our first column, our first matrix and our columns of our sec second matrix are going to be the dimensions of the resulting matrix. So we know whatever this equals, it's going to be a one by one matrix. Now, when we're multiplying matrices together, we want to multiply each row by each column. And specifically within each row and each column, we're gonna take the first element of the first row and multiply it by the first element of the first column, the second element of the second or the first row, by the second element of the first column, and so on, the third by the third. And we'll, we'll do this for each row and each column in our matrices. In this case, we only have one row in the first column and one, or one row in the first matrix and one column in the second matrix. So we'll only be doing this once. But let's look at what that looks like. Let me clean up my little lines here. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So for our first elements here, we have one times x. So we'll have one times x. Then we're going to add to that two times y. And then we're going to add again three times c. So for each uh, row and column pair, we multiply the corresponding elements and then sum up all of those different uh, element pairs, element products. So if we want to write this a little bit more nicely, our result is going to be x plus 2y plus 3z. Now, if we had more rows and columns, we'd have more entries here, but they'd all, each one of them would be a sum of the, you know, corresponding products. So this guy here, this one by one matrix, because this is a one by one matrix since there's pluses in there, is going to be our solution. So, and one thing to note, what we're doing here is called the dot product between row one and column one, where we multiply the individual elements and sum them. And so if you hear it termed that way instead, taking the dot product, like maybe the dot product between two vectors, it's the same thing. So that's it for this problem. And before I go, I just want to remind you all that if you're looking for any additional academic support or tutoring services at ASU, you can go to our website, tutoring.asu.edu. And if you're looking for 
tutoring services for a specific course, you can find the tutor search tool on this main page or by going to this full link. And that'll allow you to search for tutoring services for your specific course. So thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.